All right, I've got a quick one for you here today. We're going to show you how to wire up this four-way switch or two-pole double throw switch. A couple of weeks ago, I posted a video on how to wire a couple of three-way switches to control a single light fixture outlet or appliance. Now we're going to add a four-way switch to the mix. You might want to check that other video out first and then come back and watch this one. We're going to show you how the switch actually functions. Then we're going to wire it into the circuit and I'm going to hopefully provide a practical understanding so that you can do this yourself at home. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's take a quick look at these two switches. I've got a three-way switch here, and you can tell I've got three terminals and a ground screw. Four-way switch has four terminals and a ground screw. Okay, the ground screw is typically going to be green. It's going to thread into the switch frame or mounting plate, all right? I do have a uh, video where I kind of talk in depth as to uh, why it's important to have a ground and the functionality that it provides, and I can link to that right here for you, okay? Next, we're gonna show you how the two switches differ in functionality, and in order to do that, I'm gonna grab my multimeter, okay? All right, so first I'm going to show you how the three-way switch functions. Um, I'm not going to go into great detail because I did cover that in the previous video, but I think it's important to understand how the uh, two switches differ in functionality here, okay? So the important thing to note on the three-way switch is that we've got two terminals on one end and one terminal on the other. Uh, and the switch can be mounted in the wall or in either direction. So in this case, I've got the, uh, the single terminal at the bottom, and this is where our power would be coming in. Then we've got two terminals at one end, uh, in this case I've got them at the top, and the wires connecting to these terminals would be called traveler wires. So for the purposes of this uh, video, I call these um, traveler terminals, okay? So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you, I've got my multimeter set up in continuity mode, and again, for the purpose of this video, we can call this, um, we can call this connectivity, okay? Basically, it's gonna chime a tone when there's connectivity. Okay, this is going to allow us to see how the switches actually function, okay? So right now I've got the switch in the down position. That's in the up position, all right? Let's put it in the down position and test this terminal. Oops, I lost my black wire here. I have no continuity with the right terminal. And I do have continuity with the left terminal. Now if I flip the switch up, of loss connectivity or continuity to the left terminal. Okay, and I gain it in the right uh, terminal. So flipping a three-way switch essentially toggles continuity from the single terminal to either diagonal or directly above. Okay, so that's how that works. Right now, no continuity. Continuity, if I flip the switch, no continuity continuity okay all right so just keep in mind we are going to wire these up and make them work with a light here in just a minute but it's important to understand how the switches function okay so right now i've got one of my traveler wires coming into this uh, top left terminal and again the switch could be in the wall in either orientation but for the purpose of this video i'm going to refer to this as top and i've got no continuity got no continuity i have continuity Okay, so right now, when this switch is in this position, I've got continuity between this terminal and diagonally to this terminal. And if I were to move this lead to this terminal, I would have the same here. So basically, when the switch is in this position, I've got diagonal continuity between the two terminals, okay, the corners. Now, if I move it in the up position, I have continuity between this upper left and this lower left. And if I were to move this terminal to this side, I'm going to have continuity to the lower right. If I flip it up, or down rather, I've got it diagonally. So this switch uh, toggles continuity from singular or inline like this to diagonal, like a cross. Okay? Let's go ahead and wire up a circuit and then we'll follow the path so that it makes sense for you. Alright, for this video I'm just using three AAA batteries and an LED. Now the wire colors are going to be the same um, in your home, barring the, the green ground wires are probably going to be bare if you're using Romex. Um, but the, the black leads and the red leads are going to match what you'd have in your home, okay? These traveler wires, they may, they may be black, uh, both of them, but in the, oftentimes you'll see red and black use on the traveler wires, okay? So we're gonna read this circuit from left to right, 
And uh, for the purpose of this video, we'll call this our breaker box or our power source. So this may be, power may be coming from another outlet or switch in your home, but for the purpose of the video, we'll just call this our breaker box, okay? And then I've got um, our neutral, our white is running back from the light to the breaker box, okay? Uh, in reality, it may run to another um, outlet or something like that in your home, all right? What we're gonna do is we're just gonna follow the current, all right? So we've got power coming in to our first switch here on the single terminal in the lower left. And then we've got two traveler wires. Okay, let's just forget about the green here. That's our ground. We've got a red and a black traveler wire that run to the top of this four-way switch. And then we've got a red and a black traveler wire coming off the bottom of the four-way switch and they run to the top of this three-way switch. So these two switches are three-way switches and this is our four-way switch. Then we have a black wire running off the single terminal and the lower uh, terminal here on the three-way switch and it runs to our light fixture. Okay, so essentially we have power coming in, two traveler wires coming to the four-way, two traveler wires coming to this three-way, and then we have a power wire coming up to the light fixture, and then we have a um, neutral completing our circuit in the ground. All right, so at this point, let me just show you that everything is working as it should. So each switch actually controls the light like it would in your home, okay? And keep in mind that with this circuit, you can actually add additional four-way switches to the center of this if you needed to. I've never seen it done, more than three, but you certainly could, okay? Let's follow the current here. Let's follow the path. All right, so right now the LED light is off, obviously, but if we flip any switch, it turns on, okay? So in order to figure out what's going on here, let's just follow the path of current. So right now we have current coming in to this lower left terminal on this first three-way switch. It's coming in from our breaker box or another outlet or something. Okay, so we have power here. At this position, we have continuity between the lower left and the upper left, okay? So we would actually have power coming out over this black wire in this position. Now in this position here, remember when it's in this downward position, we would actually have continuity between this um, upper right and this lower left. Okay, so that means that power would be coming out over this red wire. Okay, but in this last switch, when it's in this up position, we have continuity between this lower right and this upper right traveler terminal. I don't know if you can see him off the camera here. So this switch right now is not making a connection. There's no continuity between this um, upper left traveler terminal or where this red traveler wire comes in and the wire that's feeding our light, okay, this black wire. And then we have a, a neutral going off to the breaker box to complete the circuit. So if I flip this switch, the light turns on, okay? Now here's what happens with this one. Remember, we have basically power coming in on this black wire to this upper right terminal. We're going diagonally to this red one coming out, and, and this switch is not making the connection right now. But if we flip this switch, We've just toggled the continuity from the black to the lower left red to the black to the lower right black, which then comes in on this terminal. And we did have continuity. When the switch is in the up position here on this orientation, we have continuity between this lower right and this upper right. If I switch this switch, we've just broken the, the circuit again. And that's because we just toggled continuity from it was going lower left to upper left. Now we have lower left to upper right. So we would have current coming out over this red wire, coming into this upper left terminal on this switch here. And remember, if we put this to the down position, we've just toggled continuity from this to this, to this, to here. So we went from um, adjacent terminals to diagonal terminals. So now we have power coming in on the red wire. We're in the downward position, so we have diagonal continuity. We have power going out over this black wire. And remember when this switch was in the upward position on this orientation, we have continuity between these two terminals, okay? So that's essentially what's happening. Think of each one as a toggle, and it's just toggling uh, the continuity. 
So on the three-way switch, we're toggling continuity between adjacent terminals to diagonal terminals. And then on a four-way switch, we're toggling continuity between adjacent terminals and diagonal terminals, but we have four of them. So they're either in line or they're like an X pattern, right? They cross over. So hopefully this video has been helpful and it provides some explanation as to how these switches work because, it, you know, it's my belief that when you understand how something works, you don't have to memorize it, okay? Obviously, the colors are important um, because you want to be up to code, uh, but in terms of the functionality and how it works, it's the principle behind it that's important. So give me that thumbs up if you found it helpful, and if you haven't checked out that other video, I'll link to that here at the end, and uh, leave questions and comments below, and if you're not a subscriber and you want to see more of this type of stuff, hit that subscribe button for me, all right? Hey, thanks for watching. Have fun, and uh, be safe.